morning and welcome to the Donkey Kong 64 No Levels Early tutorial. My name is Balam and I'll be running through the beginner route for No Levels Early. There are a few prerequisites to cover first. The important one is that this is on the US version of the game, so for N64 runners this will be the yellow cartridge and for Wii U VC runners you'll have to have a US version of the Wii U and then just get the game off the eShop and that'll be the US version of the game. The PAL and Japanese versions of the game, you can do no levels early with them but they have certain patches that do not make this route possible with them. There are routes which you can use for those but this tutorial will not cover them. Uh, you'll also want the 10 fairy mystery menu option open. Uh, this will be important for MMM. You'll also want all of the bosses unlocked on that. You'll also want story skip uh, turned on. That skips a lot of really long cutscenes. Uh, these include the intro story at the beginning of the game and also the small cable cutscenes before you enter each level uh, where he talks about his plans. You'll also want to delete your first file. You also want multiplayer unlocked, uh, so that is just done by getting a crown and you'll get this option open to you. So first thing what you're going to do is uh, main menu mode. Now first thing you have to do for this is intro story glitch. So this is done by starting the intro story and then cancelling it shortly after. Uh, there is a visual key for this. You can see how the game slowly turns to blue there to show the intro story playing. You need to cancel it uh, like when you first see that blue pretty much. Uh, for more specific timings it's 2.1 seconds after you start the intro story for N64 and 1.9 for VC. Uh, so we'll have a small timer here. So that was slightly early. You saw that little bit of blue but that was just slightly before the time window. So you can see that, that we got it. Um, this is signaled by the fact that we don't get the Donkey Kong, the main music, starting. Um, so that signifies that we've got it. We have to cancel it for this purpose. <laughs> and I get it again, of course. So main menu mode is quite a complicated uh, series of movements. I'll try to cover them as in-depth as possible, but they're all done under a timer. So I'll go through them as quickly as possible. If you've any questions on how to do this or anything else in this tutorial, please ask in the comments below and I'll get to it um, when I see it. So what you want to do is start intro story glitch, if you can get it. <laughs> to get it, then go out and go into your file File 1 is fastest, of course. And then watch the waterfall cutscene. The reason why this is under the timer is... Uh, in basic terms, the intro story is essentially running in the background. Uh, that's not entirely true, it's actually the intro story timer. But for lack of better words, it's essentially the intro story playing in the background. So, enter Cranky's mash B to cancel the text. And then mash B here, this will cancel the small bit of text after here. Mash start and quit game and press A to confirm that you're quitting game no later than 50 or no earlier than 51 seconds of the timer. You also want to mash start here, that cancels not only the game over cutscene, but this cancels DK ramp and this also cancels DK TV as quickly as possible. Let's keep mashing start here and as soon as I've got the transition there, here hold A and then go into your file or examine the file there then go into mystery menu go into jungle boss you'll get kicked out pretty much immediately there go into multiplayer press start on your second controller and then go into castle boss and watch some cutscenes. So watching these cutscenes uh, clears the 
uh, cutscene later on in the run, so you won't have to watch the full one. You'll only have to watch a shorter version of it. So this is why we're watching all these cutscenes. And pause exit as quickly as you can. Go to Chaos Boss. This one here, if you're not fast enough with your menu movement, um, you can get like pulled in or you can get taken to the main menu earlier than you'll want. If that happens, just go to multiplayer, cancel that, and then just go to Galleon Boss afterwards. Hopefully you get the chance to pause exit out of that though. So if you do, then just go into Forest Boss. After that, go into the multiplayer menu. And then go into Galleon Boss. And this will be like where you'll be if you accidentally got faded out in caves. You'll just uh, come to this point here. All it means is you'll have to watch the forest boss cutscene later on in the run. Exit out of that. Go into monkey smash again and exit out again. Go into factory boss. This one doesn't have a cutscene, so you can just pause, exit, has that immediately. Go to Aztec boss. Now you get faded out of that, and then go into a Kong Wrestle again, and then just come back here. Now to play a mini game. Uh, you can play any of these mini games, any of these work. If you do not have any of those unlocked, you can just play Forest Boss and it works as normal. Uh, but go into this one, I'll go into Jetpack, and just play it until around about 4 minutes and 1 second on the timer. So. Have a little bit of fun. And then press A to exit at 401. This gives you more, <laughs> it gives you the enough time to where if you do get a bad event here, you won't lose as much time in essence. Uh, so what happens here on the main menu, uh, there are 10 different events which can happen. Seven of them which are cutscenes, which will pull you into the main menu, which is, this is an example of one of them. The other three, which are Leg Shake, Night Cycle and Rain Cycle, do not pull you in. So all you have to do is wait at 15 seconds and then you'll just get another event happen on the main menu and hopefully it'll be a good one. If you do get Night Cycle or Rain Cycle, just go into a sub-menu uh, and then exit back into the main uh, menu screen. Uh, this will essentially just clear the Night or uh, Rain effect, it's just a little bit faster. So this is now MMM, so the game thinks we're in the main menu, in short. <laughs> so we cannot pause the game. I'm mashing start here, cannot pause the game. Uh, so this is an unfortunate problem. We also cannot take damage. We can take the knockback, so if you do get hit with an orange ore by an enemy, you will still get, still get knocked back, but you won't take damage. Um, and so as a result, you can't die unless you hit an acid pit or you do something else which is called damage storage, which you won't have to worry about in this run. Um, so that's an unfortunate thing. So that means that to exit every level, you'll have to go back to the DK portal instead of just pause exiting like you would do in one on one or any percent five con. As a bonus though, you have all the moves. Uh, so this is Simeon Slam, all the special moves for each Kong. Um, you also have the moves for uh, the guns. So now that you've got this and you've got all the moves and your MMM, you can just exit here. Also, auto saving is disabled in MMM. So don't reset your console, you will lose all your progress up until here, practically. So this is dive barrel. Just swim and hold up right, and you'll collect the coin. You'll usually get a 55 or 56 here. Next one is Orange Barrel. Uh, this one's quite simple, just collect 5 oranges and then spam them into a tree. Mash B to cancel this little bit of text here, it's just telling you what to do. So do that, and then just Z and mash C right and that will just get rid of all of them into a tree. 
do this training battle. This one is barrel barrel. Uh, this one mash B but hold B after you cancel the text. This will allow you to auto pick up the barrels. And after you pick up this one, let go of B and then just throw it into a tree. This is just to allow you to uh, finish the bonus barrel quicker. And the final one is Vine Barrel. Very simple, climb the tree and uh, kick across for those vines. One thing you, which you can do here, and I'm noticing here because you can do it also later on in the run several times, DK can pop out his little head there and when he's doing that you can just press A and he essentially is just on, like snaps on top of the tree. It's a small little time saver and you can do it, it's a neat thing to do. After you've done that, literally just uh, cross the vines. With that you can get a 52, 53 or even sometimes a 54. Um, I got a 38 there because I was spending a long time explaining that. So now that we've done that, what you want to do is you want to come over here and we're going to be doing our first uh, glitch past MMM. So this is called Swim Through Vertical Walls. Uh, game developers were a little bit lazy in terms of programming. So if you look in a certain direction with specific uh, walls which are angled a certain way and exit first person, you can essentially clip through them. Uh, so the best way to do this is, as I say, you'll come up to this wall over here and angle yourself slightly to the right. Uh, and once you've done that, you'll want to dive, go into first person, and then press A to exit first person, and then you'll just be swimming out. From here, uh, you'll actually probably want to be close to the wall when you're doing this, because if you then hold A, if you're doing it from here, you can actually just enter the lone zone to decat files. If you miss it, like I just did there, just hop into the lone zone, you'll be able to see up and you'll be able to notice it. If you miss it, you can just slam the switch, or if you just can't do that, then that's fine. Mash B to cancel that text. And the important thing to note here is do not tag any warps, and I really should also just stop this timer. So do not tag any warps. This is very important for jungle japes, um, for the first bit of jungle japes, so don't tag any warps. So roll over here and you'll want to be visiting K-Lumsy. K-Lumsy is a <laughs> dinosaur. Uh, So he's open jungle japes for us. Exit K Lumsy. Yet again, do not tag this warp. Come down here, swim, and we'll be heading over to jungle japes here. Now, this golden banana right here, if you touch a loading zone and a golden banana at the same time, you can get what is called as the banana dance. So uh, every time that a Kong picks up a GB, they'll do a small dance, but in certain circumstances, if they get damaged into it, if they hit a loading zone at the same time as picking it up or whatever, you will essentially skip the dance. Uh, it's around about a 5 second time saver each time you do it, depending on how quick your setup is. But this one's fairly easy, um, although it's also one of the easiest ones to miss because, yeah. So you want to be kind of angled here. Um, so you want to be, yeah, you want to be angled so when you roll, you'll be hitting the lone zone and hitting the golden banana, like so. If you pick up the golden banana first, then that's fine. You'll get the dance. It's five second time uh, cost, but that's fine. If you hit the lone zone first, then just exit out here and pick up the banana and then re-enter. Come down here. Don't get attacked by the beavers. Talk to this bee locker guy and enter jungle japes. So this is Jungle Japes, uh, what you'll want to do here, come over to this tree and uh, you know the Kong's B move, you can jump out of that essentially in midair, which allows you to gain a bit of extra distance 
So we're going to be using that here uh, to hit that switch over there. So you want to kick, jump, and then aerial just gives you a little bit of extra distance, which means you can hit that switch here. After doing that, just come down here, roll through the tunnel. Don't get hit by the beaver. <laughs> Don't get hit by another beaver. <laughs> so, there's a small cutscene, uh, around about 20 seconds long. It's undesirable, and it just shows where Diddy is and tells you to free him. We can skip that. Uh, if you hit this warp at the same time, or during that cutscene, it essentially overrides that cutscene with the warp first time text. So, just before this blue zone, you'll want to kick and land on that warp. So, like so. And you'll see how the cutscene started, but we essentially overrode it with the warp first time text. If you miss the warp for whatever reason, uh, just tag it afterwards and you'll be fine, and you'll just have to watch the 20 second cutscene. After that, you'll want to come down here, and you'll want to swim through vertical walls for this wall over here. Yet again, face slightly right, dive, first person, exit first person with A, and you'll want to be swimming for this GB right here. So come over here and collect it. After so, you want to roll over here. You'll be slightly under the level, which can be a bit disorientating, but uh, just roll under here and you'll come over to here. Big note, uh, I feel like I should mention this now, so that you uh, know for later. You cannot inbound through floors. Like, you'll just bonk on them and you can't inbound them uh, through them. But you can inbound through walls, if I can get a good camera angle. So you see how I essentially just went through the wall and now we're past the gate. So, all we're going to be doing here, hitting this kiss flat. Mash B to kill it. And then just roll through here. Tag the, or uh, climb the tree. And then just cross these vines. And enter B Blast. So this is quite a simple course. All you need to do is just press Z, A or B to exit the uh, barrel when you want to be shot out. And just pick up the golden banana. After doing this, just come down here and go to this vine. And swing across these vines over here and roll into the cannon. Something which you can do here, you can hold Z and that just as cancels the Kong's getting up animation. And just uh, get into this GB. Sorry about that, that was my clock. You'll hear that at various points probably. <laughs> so that spawned the switch. Uh, as a result of MMM, we do not have any ammo, so then just pick up this ammo box over here. Come down to this platform over here, and you'll want to shoot this switch over here. Swing across these vines. You can zoom in here. Uh, as a side effect of MMM, you have sniper scope, so you can zoom in here and shoot this switch. And then just come over here, don't roll into the tree. <laughs> and don't hit that uh, battle crown pad either, you'll get a small bit of text. And then just shoot this switch. You can then swing across these vines uh, whilst the switch is activating. It's just a small time saver. And then just come back to this uh, GB here. Yeah. 
I will mention a few small time savers. None of them are necessary, so if you can't do them or don't want to do them or don't remember to do them, it's perfectly fine. It's just something which uh, you might want to do. Let's pick up this ammo. Pick up this ammo here. And pick up these ammo here. And tag Diddy. You want to mash B to cancel the little bit of text which tells you how to deal with Diddy. Now, you want to come over here um, and you want to shoot the switch. Uh, what you can do, if you press B here, you can uh, get rid of your guns and you can chimpy charge. If you get a better direction, you can get quite a bit of distance during a cutscene. After doing that, just come over here, backflip, and just enter this thing. So there are two ways to do this room. There is the intended way and the not so intended way. So the not so intended way is actually quite simple, um, but you don't have to do it if you don't, uh, if you can't do it. So this is called bridge clip. What you can do is if you're kind of here. Um, you notice how Diddy's cap is kind of in the middle of these two bolts. If you backflip, and as you are going up on your backflip, you can clip through that bridge. Uh, so you can see there. Uh, and then you can just hit the pad. If you don't like that for whatever reason, uh, if you can't do it or if it's just not to your taste, then you can just come up here and do it the intended way. So shoot the switch. And that spawns a bridge here, you get a small bit of timer. And just cross this bridge. The camera can be a pain there. And slam the switch. Then just come down here and exit the mountain. Backflip up here and pick up the golden banana. And important, important note, tag walk 5. Very important for later. Come down here. Now, what you can do here is something which is called a crouch slide. If you crouch, uh, and hold crouch whilst falling, uh, you can essentially negate all fall damage. So this here, if you fell off it, would give you a splat, which is undesired. However, if you crouch off like that, we don't even take any splat or we don't even enter the falling animation at all. Um, so you can do that in various places just to uh, not get hit. Pick up these ammo crates and shoot this splat. then come back here. And you'll want to swim through vertical walls again. And you'll want to swim under this pathway here. It just helps with knowing where you are. And you'll want to head for this area here. And you'll come over to here and you'll need to inbound in this room. Remember you need to inbound through walls, not through floors. Um, if you miss this inbound for whatever reason, then just head back to the main area. You can retry to swim through vertical walls. Or you can just do this the intended way by shooting the switches. So just jump, aerial, and you'll be inbound. Another small time saver here with uh, this gold banana here. What you can do is if you get damaged by the beaver, like so, you can get knocked into the gold banana. It saves yet again the dance. Uh, yet again, not entirely necessary. So, trough and scoff skip. So, in intended gameplay, what you have to do is you have to pay uh, scoff the hippo, sixty bananas, and it increases in size as you progress through the game. And obviously, that's not intended because you have to go running around collecting colour bananas and it's not very nice. With this skip here you can skip that requirement and enter the boss without that. 
There are two ways to do this. There is a moon kick and there is a ledge cliff. Two are very different. Uh, only the moon the moon kick can only be done with DK as well. So it would be advised you learn the ledge clip method, but moon kick is also far easier. And well, it's far more consistent at the very least. So with moon kick, um, if you interrupt DK's aerial animation with a kick at, before a certain point, essentially DK just essentially takes off to the sky like so. <laughs> You've probably seen this here and there in one on one runs, NLE runs, any percent runs, wherever. So we can do this if we can get the timing right. And clip through this wall here. And all that we would have to do is come under here and then just go into that uh, boss door. Or go under the boss door and it'll pull us into the cutscene. If you don't like this, that is perfectly fine. This is can be a little hard. You can uh, do the ledge clip instead. So the way this works is between every wall and floor, or at least most wall and floors, there is a tiny gap where there's like you can just fall through and if you stop yourself from moving at all with a C up you can essentially just fall through that area and then just clip and out of bounds and like the moon kick method just go into the boss door like normal. So we're going to be using this um, right here so yet again using C up to buffer movement um, and you can clip through that small gap. Uh, something which you can do is... Did I...? <laughs> nice. <laughs> if you buffer your movement against here, you'll notice that DK is moving a lot slower. This will essentially make us move, yeah, like a lot slower towards the ledge and it will make it a lot easier to clip in. Um, tiny movements on your control stick also help with this. As you can see, I got that without a C up twice, um, just with just tiny movements and moving against the wall. But C up makes it a lot easier and a lot more consistent. Um, so what we do for this is come over here and then just move a little bit and then cancel that movement with a C up. So you see I moved a little bit and I cancel it with a C up. Move a little bit, cancel with a C up. Move a little bit, move a little bit, move a little bit, move a little bit. And then if you're lucky, you can clip into this ledge. Like so. And once you're under here, just roll under the lane zone. And you'll get taken in. So this is Army Dillo. What you want to do, if you're on N64, look down. Pick up this barrel and throw it at him. So, in between each of these firing phases, Armadillo has a nice rolling cycle. You can see it here, but uh, you can skip that by just taking damage into him. So if you do that really early, then like he'll skip that uh, entire rolling phase. And then just go around here and there, just dodging the fireballs. Doesn't really matter, you've essentially got infinite health. And after he's done that, just throw the uh, TNT barrel. Something which you can do is that after you've picked that up, you can pick up this barrel here and then just place it down. And if it's correctly placed enough, uh, it'll be close enough to Armadillo where after he pops his head out, he'll essentially uh, immediately hit that TNT barrel. So you see there, he got a little bit of a quick hit. It's a small little time saver if you want to do it. Go ahead. So that's the first key. Roll and collect it. Mash B to cancel this text here. So as mentioned before, um, 
We need to get back to the DK portal by rolling, or through some other method, in order to exit the level. Now, there are two ways to do this. Firstly, you can just roll uh, normally back, so literally just go through this tunnel and exit through that way, and you'll just be at the DK portal. There's the second way, which is this uh, torch push. So, you want to kick over this direction, and this put torch is very buggy. So if you jump and then press up and then aerial, you can get pushed out of bounds like that. Uh, sometimes it can't work, it's just down to your positioning and timing. And you can just easily get pushed out of bounds. And what this does is you'll hit this little trigger here. That's what's known as the void trigger. If you go too far out of bounds you'll hit that and you'll just walk straight back to the start of the level. At which point you can just exit the DK portal normally, and that is Jape's done. And then all you need to do is roll over here, and exit Jape's lobby. Roll down here. And swim to K Lumsey after tagging warps 5 and 1. And we'll be turning in key one. After this, uh, just come and exit K-Lumsy. And take what one. Uh, at this point, tag warp to turn three. And backflip up here, backflip up here, get onto this tree, and we'll be heading to Aztec. Two things which you can do here. Uh, if you're on N64, this is a lot easier. Uh, VC can also do it, it's just a little harder. If you have um, the camera facing this way, it generates a little bit more lag, so you can just do a moon kick to cross uh, this little gap here. If you cannot do this, just take the vines and it's fine. Then just kick up these steps. And enter Aztec Lobby. At which point, just activate this text. Make sure you do not do a B-Locker skip here. I think Emo's previous tutorial did a B-Locker skip here. Um, don't do a B locker skip there. Uh, a lot of people have lost runs to it. <laughs> and enter Aztec. What you want to do here, come and cross these vines. And roll down this little tunnel way. And you want to shoot this switch over here. And open this door right here. This will reveal. Uh, or this will uh, open the room to DK's Kasplat, which will allow you to get his blueprint. So after you've picked up DK's blueprint, pick up. make sure you've got three crystals here, it will be helpful for later. Now, um, we'll be doing our first orange clip here, if you're on N64. On VC, you just kick into this cutscene. This is, as I say, there's a small cutscene there showing the llama, uh, but you can skip this with something which is called uh, orange lag and using it to clip out of bounds. So, the more the game lags, the faster the Kong moves. Uh, this was done to essentially bypass, uh, like, it, it makes it seem like the game is less laggy than it actually is if the Kong is moving faster. So with an orange light clip, you can clip out of bounds um, by generating lag. If you miss it, then just come across and kick here. After which point you'll want to tag walk one. And you want to tag Diddy. 
if you are low on oranges, then pick up those oranges there. So, we'll be wanting to backflip onto that cage to reach that instrument pad. There are a few ways to do this. One, just do it the intended way, it's a bit slow, but if you need to, then go for it. Second way is you can backflip onto it. Uh, if you're at the edge, you just land right on top of it. But if you have, if you're not close to the edge, or if your stick is not that great, uh, you'll land on the slope like so, uh, a little bit further off, like so. If you do that, when you've just fallen off, uh, as you see here, press A and aerial, and you'll just immediately uh, jump back on here. At which point, just play your instrument. Okay, so now we want to head to the rocket barrel. And come over here. And kill this Kasplat. After you've done this, uh, you might want to pick up another crystal here. Gives you a little bit more leeway for later. Come and shoot this switch over here. You can be do this, so if you have your back faced to the wall, like I am so, and jump backwards, you can hit the switch early. So, like so. If you miss that, then just uh, see up and just press the switch normally, like that. After which, just come over here, pick up some crystals if you want, and enter Tiny Stepple. So, ledge clipping again for this one. This ledge clip is notoriously something which people mess up a lot. But it's actually not that bad uh, if you get some practice at it. So you want to be over here, kind of perpendicular to the entrance that you just got in by. And you want to, yet again, move a small old amount and you see up to buffer. And you can see that we've just clipped into the ledge. I'll show it again. If you get this down early, it's really good because this clip is annoying for a lot of people. And if you don't get it, then it's fine. Like, just keep practicing it and you'll eventually get it. So, small movements and buffer them with C up. At which point, just come over here. Uh, you want to be parallel to this loading zone if you want the ideal movement. If you get out of sorts then it's fine. Like Try to be parallel to this loading zone. The camera can be a bit iffy, so I <laughs> wasn't parallel there. But keep long jumping and you'll see these sparkles. That's a free tiny GB. You want to backflip in bounds and pick up this GB. At which point, just come over here and we'll be spelling this wrong. So, if you press this little button here, it raises some pads, and that's a long cutscene. So, what you can do is if you spell it O Kong, G Kong, or N Kong instead of just Kong, you can actually just skip that uh, raising of the platforms. All you have to do is backflip onto these and jump charge off them. So, that's the O. O Kong is fastest for NLA. You don't have to be off them when you chimp charge, you can be up here, and that will still activate the letter. That's the O. Backflip on here. That's the N. And backflip on here. And that's the G. So this is Tiny Frame, and the final thing we have to do is, because we never melted the ice, we have to swim through vertical walls to exit this area, but as normal, like, look slightly right, see up, and then just uh, use A to cancel, and you'll just go through this wall, and you'll exit that. Um, I'll show you what happens if you don't hit that loan zone automatically, sorry I've been getting into some... Um, muscle memory, so I entered that 
Lang Zone a lot earlier than I should have. But if you inbounds in this area, or if you you want to inbounds in this area, if you're not comfortable with that, so just exit through this area. After here, just come down here and tag Tiny. And come over here, we'll be killing her Kasplat. And just pick up his blueprint. The thing is that can be really, really awful. Um, a lot of people often get trolled by that. Kill these clap traps if you need to, they can be an absolute pain as well. Tag walk two here if you need to. And just come up here. And tag Diddy. So we'll be ramming gongs here. So ram this gong. Then this gong. <laughs> this gong. Then for this one, uh, we'll be wanting to chimpy charge, hit this gong, and then get onto that tower. So there's an easy way to do this, just face backwards against the gong, chimpy charge, and then just jump out of it and you'll get onto the tower easily. If you miss that, then just go for the rocket barrel nearby. If you're lucky, you'll hit that GB during a cutscene and you'll skip. Uh, some of that. After which point, just come down here. And head back here. You want to tag warp 5 here. And then just enter this boss here. Yet again, you can use the ledge clip or the moon kick. I'll show the moon kick in action. Just so people can see the outer bounds. And just roll under into the cutscene. This is Dogadon. Classic boss does five shots and then just becomes vulnerable, so pick up the barrel and fire at him. This time he does ten shots. It's not hard at all, just, just avoid his fireballs like so. And throw the barrel. Final phase is 15 shots. It's very scary. How am I going to avoid all these shots? <laughs> 10 down, 5 to go. <laughs> And just pick up this barrel and throw it at him. And we defeated Dogodon's onslaught of 30 fireballs. So, congratulate yourself by picking up this key. And that's key two. So, what we'll be doing here is a trick called Banana Push, like Torch Push, when objects are near walls. It can cause some iffy collision 
and movement if you hit it in a weird way. So we're going to be doing this with the banana on top of Funky's hut. So to get on Funky's hut, just face DK away from Funky, backflip and then just hold up, you'll get on normally. You can't do it if you're facing Funky's hut, just DK won't hit it at all. So you just have to face backwards and just get on this way. At this point, face towards the camera and you'll be wanna, you want to be kind of here. Um, and just jump and backwards into it and you'll clip out of bounds. Uh, if you if you are too far to the right, which is here, you'll not clip out of bounds and you'll be over here. That's just you were too far to the right. And if you're too far to the left, you'll just fall off the left. So you've clipped out of bounds. Well, hey, get this GP or get this uh, bonus barrel. Welcome to bonus day. So this is Stealthy Snoop, avoid the guards. It's a very simple maze. You want to come over here, head right, avoid this guard, head left, head right again, head left, and touch the goal and you would have uh, completed the massively difficult bonus barrel. And backflip into this GB. Get what five. And cross this uh, little bit of sand here. And we're going to be doing something here called uh, Gobi Clip. Totally not stolen from Banjo Kazooie. But uh, this is what happens. Like, if you sink into the sand a little bit, you can roll clip into this. Uh, wall here. So what you want to do is take damage and then you want to lower yourself into the sand. So you notice how DK sinks a little bit there. You want to make sure that DK is fully sunk into the ground um, and then you'll essentially want to roll into this wall. This clip can be inconsistent especially on VC. Uh, so if you miss it then like it's fine. just backflip into the lone zone. This can be kind of hard to see because of the camera. So if you f feel like you need to, then just go into first person and that will correct the camera to here. And just backflip into the lone zone. And time for DK's 5 door temple. Shoot the switch, pick up the ammo. Shoot this switch over here. Switches can have buggy hit detection, so if you miss it, or if, it, if you hit it but it doesn't activate, then just hit it again, usually it works. And pick up this gold Madonna. A notably terrifying moment for most of us uh, in our childhoods, but just roll out of this temple and you'll be fine. And then just roll down here. Don't hit the sand. <laughs> and cross this bit here. So there are three ways to enter this temple. First way, it's the intended way. Do the speed blast. Just do it like you did in your childhood. And that will free uh, the llama and spawn some switches which you can enter as normal. There are two other ways. One is the moon kick. The moon kick Saves 5 seconds over the third method, but can be a little bit iffy. So, what you want to do is you want to jump and mash, or you want to do a moon kick on this slope. This can be kind of iffy, so if you don't get it, then that's fine. And then you want to get onto this bit here. <sighs> Sometimes getting onto that little bit there can be really uh, annoying because you'll get that little bit of a slip. And at which point you want to kick into that and then land into the lone zone. I deliberately avoided the lone zone because I want to show off method 3, but just land in the lone zone or just walk into the lone zone and you'll be fine. If you miss that or you don't like that or whatever, you can do method 3. Which you just hit the sand back here and like go you clip a lot uh, more consistent is you can 
<laughs> roll into this wall here, and you just clip through the back there. At which point, just backflip into the lone zone and just roll through. So that is uh, Linguini. He kills a lot of our runs. He is uh, very, very annoying. But unfortunately, we do have to free him. So, firstly, you want to tag Warp 2 here. And we'll be wanting to do another swim through vertical walls to exit or to enter this room. So, just come through here and free him. As painful as it must be. Which point pick up the golden banana. Now the unfortunate thing is that when it might look like we're stuck in this room because this gate over here is closed and there's no other real way to exit. But there is. It's a trick called swim through shores. If you press Z and mash B, so you DK's got this dolphin move. We normally do this move for swimming, but he's also got this dolphin move. This can be quite broken with regards to clipping through stuff. So if you dive with Z at kind of an angle, uh, if you're also far enough away to actually get a dive. <laughs> so dive and then mash B, not holding Z, just mash B. You'll clip out of bounds and clip through that little bit of the slope. Keep mashing B, you'll want a little bit of a distance, at which point you'll Stop mashing B and just jump and continually jump. The camera can be an absolute pain here and you'll go into this lava here. At which point just come through here and just click back here and just get on solid land. If you uh, miss that little bit on here, uh, you'll likely void um, and if you avoid, that's perfectly fine. Just take warp one and take warp two and enter as normal, and just come to this point here. Now, if you if you did that, then come up here. You might want to do a moon kick here, or not. <laughs> it's a little bit faster. Um, and you'll want to tag tiny. Tag warp one, and then come down these stairs. And enter Mini Monkey. Then enter this pipe here and de transform as soon as possible. And kick slide ponytail twirl to cross this distance. and get the golden banana. At which point just come back and take walk two. Then come down here and take walk one. And then tag Lanky. Now you'll want to shoot the switch. That switch has a little bit of a delay. It's normal to, for that to happen. And we'll be doing his matching game. Now, in the beginner route, and I'll also link it here as well, or I'll show it on screen, there is a help on how to do this if you don't know how. It's essentially just match the sounds. Um, so first one, <laughs> if we can not land in the lava, first one is here, then up here, then up here, then down here, then these two, then these two, then come all the way down here for the orange ones, then the blue ones, then these two, and then finally these two. And then just pick up the golden banana. Oh. 
after you've done that. Reminder to get hit there, because Lanky needs it. Um, <laughs> just come down here, take what one. Take what two. And kill his Kasplat. And take what two again. After you're done with this, come down here. And we'll want to do another swim through vertical walls. But this time we'll be deliberately voiding. This brings us to the start of the level very easily. Pick up these ammo crates if you want, if you're low on ammo at all. Then just come down here, get these other ones, take what two, and then we we'll want to get this, no not that one. <laughs> At which point you want to enter K Lumsy. And you'll want to get into this barrel. And we'll be collecting this gold melon over here, so just come over here, hit the switch. Now it's very important that you do not hit the bottom bit here, because that will trigger the key cutscene. You must stay away from that little trigger when picking up this. If you do hit it though, then just collect this after you've turned in the key. But if you didn't, then just turn in the key here. So exit key Lumsy. And come down the back here. And shoot the switch. And grab this golden banana. Come down here and take what one. Tag Tony and we'll be swimming all the way over to here. You want to be swimming for as long as you can, so come down here, get onto the land. And you want to take this monkey port pad and get this uh, instrument pad and to spawn this GB. And yeah. So at which point, just come down here and enter factory lobby and tag Lanky here, activate the speed locker and enter factory. So. Important note for this next trick, two methods, uh, for the full thing you'll want the to be doing it on first factory entrance because that will load production room, it'll help you with navigation a lot. So come down here, activate this chunky text, you'll want to tag walk one, this is important. If you're low on oranges, like I am, just collect some oranges here. Now, 
There are two methods of clipping out bounds here. One, which is robot push. If you are on VC, you must do robot push. So come down here. You want to be down here, and hopefully the robot will push you out of bounds. Unfortunately, <laughs> I wasn't getting kind of lucky there because uh, the robots were being iffy. But I'll just show it off uh, one more time. So there. That's another demonstration of it. I got really unlucky there because the two robots were so close to each other so they were interfering with each other. But if you're on N64, you can also do this method. First you want to kill the robots, this means that oranges will not home on them. And this is our damage boost clip. Uh, I will also link C Fox's tutorial for this. Uh, it's quite extensive and uses the camera, but you can do it without the camera. Um, so you want to come here, note that Lanky's foot is on the right here. Um, then come here, look kind of in this direction. Um, you can use your gun to get an aiming for this. And then fire four oranges, and hopefully you'll be uh, clipped out of bounds. Like so. If you don't do that, then just wait for the oranges, or wait for the uh, robots to respawn and you can just do robot push. So now that you're out of bounds, um, what you want to do is you want to have a look at this room here and you'll practically want to do a 180. I'll show on screen a map of factory which will easily show you where to go. So our first destination is under arcade room. So this is like kind of, for it's mostly forward and slightly right. So if you head in that direction, more towards the tag barrel light below, eventually you'll uh, become visible and you'll load either this tunnel or that room over there. If you load this tunnel, go to this room over there. It's like so. Once you're under this room, you'll want to, if I can move here, you'll want to head under that gate over there. So, like so. Once you've done that, then you'll want to head to that tag barrel right there. And eventually you'll see some sparkles. Uh, just pick up that, because that's a golden banana. And once you've done that, that will load production room, just crouch slide off this and entering the tag barrel is not mandatory. Tag what for and drop down again. Come through here. All the way through here. Slam the switch. After you've done that, just come across here and get the headphones. At which point, just climb up here and rank stand to hit this switch. At which point, just come and collect this GB. Camera can be a little bit of a pain, but you'll eventually find it. Then just come down here. Come up here. And we are going to be heading to the Trough and Scoff here. And it's time for Majak. Majak is one of the hardest bosses in the game. I would advise that you, you get lots of practice at this. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's going to be hard. But get lots of practice at this, and you'll get you'll be okay at it. It's fine to fall off. I will say that now. It is fine to fall off. It is fine to get hit, and it is fine to get absolutely bad luck. Everyone gets bad luck from time to time. So. 
let's clip into this boss. This is mandatory because you want to defeat the boss as tiny. So, magic. I'll be demonstrating a few strategies here. This is the phase one strategy that I do. Just follow my movements here and you'll get the best log. Uh, or you likely get the best look, like shown here. And then just hit the blue switch. Then at this point you'll want to be doing diagonals for phases 2 and 3. This also works for phase 1. Just do diagonals and you'll be fine. You'll also want to be counting. Um, Mad Jack jumps a certain amount of times each phase. He jumps 9 times the first phase, 11 times the second phase, 12 times the third phase, 13 times the fourth phase, and 15 times the fifth phase. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. and just search for the switch for the one which he's on, which is back there, which is really bad luck. <laughs> so in phase four and five, Mad Jack does some weird movement. He starts to go back on himself. You can do diagonals. I'll show this for phase four. I'll show the fastest strike for phase five. So just do diagonals and you'll get 50% of the fast jumps there. Yeah, again, count how many jump he's doing. So that was 13. Uh, we got some good luck there. He'll do this little charging move. It's quite simple. Just avoid that square that he's going to fire and just slam the switch. So this is the slightly faster strat for phases 4 and 5. If you can't do it, then it's fine. You'll want to be doing a Z move. And that lets you get one extra fast jump per uh, set. So you'll get two fast jumps for every um, one slow jump. And then just head for the blue switch I'm gonna not head for it immediately so that the shot can get fired there so I can shoot the blue switch immediately or shoot the blue switch without having fear. At which point, pat yourself on the back, you have defeated Majak, arguably the hardest boss in the game. And pick up the key. Come down here and backflip to this gone banana. If you didn't open, this is dumb because you opened the cage. If you couldn't open the cage before, that's fine. Just enter this mini monkey barrel and just climb off as normal. It's perfectly fine to do that. Uh, then just come back here. And just kill this cusplat. And tag DK. Take what one. And roll through this tunnel here. And we'll be heading to the lock tower room. So you want to come over here, you'll want to get on this here. Hopefully you'll get the uh, platform raising that quickly. <laughs> you want to come up over here and slam this switch to do the hardest minigame in the entirety of DK64. 
It's not really the hardest, literally just slam the switches uh, from 1 to 16. What you can do is after you've slammed, you can press B and you'll do this like um, cancelling move and you can jump out of that cancelling move with an A. So you can see how like I'm pressing B, then A. And that'll just basically um, reduce the amount of time that it takes to do uh, this puzzle. At which point, just backflip to get this golden banana. And then just come over here, not miss that box, <laughs> and tag Chunky. Cancel the text there. And kill Chunky's Kasplat. You want to ideally be killing Chunky's Kasplats with guns. Um, it only takes uh, five shots from Chunky's uh, ammo to hit those. Then just come up here and uh, get into this bonus barrel. If you can't do that move that I did there where you get onto the arch and you get into the bonus barrel, uh, you can just uh, boom balloon to it and that's perfectly fine. So this is Battery Barrel Bandit, it's notably RNG and it is notably horrible. Literally just stop uh, the slots on uh, the golden banana each time. Sometimes you'll get juked by the game like that. You'll get it in the case of where it just doesn't want to cooperate. So this is why Bio Battle Bandit is kind of horrible sometimes. Average times for that tend to be around about the 18 to 22 range. Let's come through this door here. And we'll be heading to R and D. Backflip to get up higher on this pole and kill this Kasplat. <laughs> Don't get hit like, like that. <laughs> Then just come down here and tag DK. So now we're going to be climbing back up here, but we're going to be going into the small chute at the back. This will take us directly back to the storage room and up to uh, Power Shed. So just shoot the switch that's down there. and pull this lever. At which point just collect the gold banana. After this point just come down and tag Chunky. And you'll want to come down here, private punch is great and you'll be in the dark room. Now normally what you have to do is you have to pound this box and slam the switch then private punch this button and then get the golden banana normally. We can skip all that. So you want to get on this box and then jump aerial over to here and you'll grab this ledge and then you can just pull up and you'll grab the golden banana. Come down here 
and head to production room. Slam this pad. And go via warp 4. Then all you have to do is cross this arm here and wait for the crusher to rise. Pick up the GB. At which point just gets a uh, Diddy here and drop down. And shoot this circus plant. Get his blueprint. And take Warp 4 all the way up. Climb these elevators. And we'll be heading over to Diddy's production room GB over here. Simeon Spring, you naturally get a dance skip with that GB. Then take Tai, and we'll be going up these conveyors. So backflip onto the conveyor. You can kick slide and ponytail twirl, it gets you across these a little bit easier. And just kick slide ponytail twirl to the bonus barrel to play, to play Crazy Kong Clamour. Simple goal, shoot a banana each time. And just backflip and get this golden banana. So now you want to come down here and use that tag barrel you just used. I'm going to be tagging DK. Grab his blueprint. You can shoot him from here, it's perfectly safe. Grab his blueprint. And come down here. So now I'm going to be covering something which is called Crusher Room Clip. Um, so when this Crusher is raised, you can get in this small gap right here and clip out of bounds. So like so. You'll be kind of clipped and then sometimes you'll just walk through and you'll just get the uh, full clip out of bounds. At which point then just come across here and just do the same thing again. Wait for the crush to be up and then just come through that little gap and void to exit the level. And go back through the DK portal. Next thing we'll be doing is pulling this lever over here. And just get onto this um, elevator and play your instrument. And like most things, you'll get a GB straight off it. <laughs> Come down here, 
Attack Chunky. Um, primate punch this box. Go get Tiny, and you'll want to just kill this guy. And now just leave Factory Lobby. And shoot this gun switch. And grab this GP. Then just come down here. Just enter this tag barrel. Kill Chunky's blueprint over here. And talk to B Locker just to clear him. And enter Galleon. So now that you've entered Galleon, you want to shoot these switches over here. Primary punch through the cutscene if you want, it gets you a little bit of extra distance. Then just come down here, and you'll want to do a, a little trick which is a low water jump. So wait until the water is its like kind of maximum level, and just jump aerial and you can grab that ledge. Hopefully the Kasplat won't do that, that's just a bit of an unfortunate look. Kill the Kasplat because it just makes this little bit a lot easier. And then just come across here, put the cannonball into here, and just play cannon game. This one is notably difficult, uh, so don't worry if you have troubles with this. With this one here, uh, good shots to do. Wait until it's just past that marker there. And you can just hit that one. And pick up the golden banana. So Galleon is a massive underwater level, which means a lot of swim through vertical walls. So you want to come to here and just face that direction and just swim through. At which point just head directly to the right, avoid inbounding, and go into the lighthouse area. So now we'll swim down directly to the bottom, uh, if I can actually direct myself towards the tag. Tag Lanky. And enter this on guard chest. So say hello to the only animal body we'll be using this uh, run, which is on guard. So just come down here, and swim to this chest, and break it. Hopefully you get the get a grab during the cutscene. I didn't, that's fine. Just come and grab it as normal, if you miss it. Then just come over to this tag over here, and tag Diddy. And swim up. And get to this blueprint. <laughs> and you want to raise the water here. After this, you'll want to come over here, uh, get under this box, and do a swim through vertical walls. And you want to just follow the level, just go directly under the tunnel and follow it. It can be a little bit hard, so you feel free to use the up to reload the area, or to load the area to make sure you can see it. So come around to here, and we'll be heading to the cactus area.
And just come and get Chunky. Right. This kind of spot can be notably annoying, so feel free to just melee him if you can't uh, shoot him with a gun. Get Chunky's blueprint. Tag Tiny. And just swim back to Five Door Ship. So each of these uh, parts of Five Door Ship has a number on it. You want to swim through the one with the number 5 on it, which is this one here. Yeah, again, do another classic swim through vertical walls, face slightly right, and swim right into it. Come through here, and we'll be meeting our old buddy, the starfish. The starfish can easily be annoying in this, like so. Um, if you miss that GB because of the awkward camera, feel free to just go in first person and try and get it. And then just swim out of here. Like so. Once we're done with that, we'll go and tag Lanky here. And just come through here. And we'll be getting his two door ship GB. Or his not two door ship, his five door ship GB. <laughs> just come through here and exit. So head over here, and this is going to the two door ship. And this. Method here is the easiest way to enter to the ship, uh, and is also VC friendly. So you want to face this wall here, and bearing in mind, very close to this wall is the void, so you have to be kind of careful. So, look in this way, swim through it, and then as soon as you click through it, just hold Z, and that means you can stay in position, so I'm holding right here. Note how Lanky's just staying in position, and you can just make sure you can readjust, know where you are, and then just swim under here. Yeah, again, using Z whenever you need to to just readjust, then just clip under fire, uh, this uh, ship here and then enter this lone zone. It's a lower one. Swim through here. And then swim all the way down here. Grab this gold banana. You want to head for that bottom of the gold banana, and like the only collision is at the bottom there. So just come down here and exit uh, the uh, two door ship. At which point you want to swim up to the surface, and you'll want to tag warp two. It's already tagged here because this might not be the first take. <laughs> so come all the way down here. Swim through vertical walls on this one here. And we'll be heading up here. And just baboon balloon up. Now something which you can do, instead of a boom balloon for all the remaining pads, um, is you can actually backflip to skip all of these. <laughs> um, if you don't like doing these, then it's fine, you can still boom balloon up and it's perfectly fine. So just backflip on the pads and you'll be able to skip them easily. And just enter the bonus spell. So this is such like Seek. Shoot the uh, claptrap <laughs> four times and you get the banana. Come 
clutch app can be kind of hard to find if you, you can't find it. <laughs> so now you've done that minigame, just come and collect this GB. Then just come down here. And you want to enter this tag barrel. And just Simeon Spring all the way up to the top here. This is Stealthy Snoop. Yeah, again, just do it like you would normally do. Come over here. Don't get hit, uh, detected, of course. Wait until this guard comes over here. Don't pass him just yet, because he'll just go to the right over here. Then you need to come to the left side of this guard, and just as he starts to look towards the right, just come to his left hand side. This guard will start approaching, so just come back here. So wait until this guard... Yep, and you'll just be able to sneak past him on the right there. Come back here. Wait until that guard turns around and... Win the minigame. And pick up this gold banana. This is spawn wall four. Just come down here. Tag Lanky. And just come to the right of this chest and just swim through vertical walls out. You want to head back to Cannon Game Room here. And just defeat this Kisplat. Come and tag Lanky here, or Chunky here. Just come down here. Kill this guy here. And grab this GB. Cross these vines and enter this drop and scarf over here. And tag Tiny. Yeah, again, you'll have to do another ledge clip into this. DK, do not do it as DK because DK is slow as hell in the boat in Puffdos. So don't do it as DK. Tiny is the one in the route, so just do it as Tiny. Come under here, and yet again enter the boss's normal. So this is Puftos. It's annoyingly difficult, uh, especially with patterns of his stars. But thankfully his stars are in the, the same place every time. So you want him to come over here, hit this star. And then just go counterclock, or clockwise, sorry. <laughs> hit this star here. Hit this star here loop around to hit this star, then come back and hit this star over here. Turn around, and just 
like this start if you're actually fast enough. Or actually nimble enough, I should guess you'd say. And then just keep heading counterclockwise. <laughs> Hopefully you avoid that shockwave, but you obviously got a little bit sort of track there. So just collect these two stars here. Then just head over to this star over here. Then back again. Collect this star. And then this star. Then this star. Then back again for this one. You'll head over to the green side where you'll get these three stars. Then head over to the red side, get this star. Try and avoid the fireballs, they're always a pain. Just get these two stars over here. Now these final two red stars, they are literally in the seventh place, so just get this one, and then just wait for the next one to spawn, and just get that one. And collect this key. Climb up here and take a kick slide printing tower 12 back and grab the blueprint over here. Come down here and take warp 2. You can now come and swim down here. And you want to attack DK, because you want to get DK's blueprint. And just get his blueprint over here. This guy can be a little bit of an asshole, so if that happens, literally just take Warfall back and uh, keep uh, taking Warfall until he actually behaves, and you can kill him. Then just come through here. And just get through there. At which point, just come down here, tag Tiny. And we're going to be doing another swim through vertical walls. You want to come down here next to the pipe and swim through vertical walls that way. And just grab this golden banana. Swim out, uh, or swim through vertical walls to the left side of the torch, and you can clip out here. And void. And then literally just swim out of Galleon Lobby. So here we're going to be doing uh, Banana Fairy Island. Now, I'm going to be showing shooting the switch here. I would highly advise that if you... Uh, you can swim through shores underneath this and pick up the golden banana, but you can also soft lock the game. So... Uh, for now I'm just going to be showing shooting the switch because ideally you don't want to self lock the game. So grab this golden banana. Uh, if you are not comfortable on crystal counts you'll want to come into this mini monkey barrel over here. And just enter here. This is only, you only need to do this if you are worried about your crystal count or your ammo count um, or your orange count if you really need that. But I'm grabbing here also because it's good for tutorials and stuff if I have access to fairies. So after you've done 
that or after you've shot the switch if you're not going there. Just take what five. Take what one. And turn in key four. After you've done that, just come through here. Take what one. Take or tag chunky here. And then take what five back. Uh, now if you didn't go to Banana Ferry or you didn't go and visit the Banana Queen, just grab some crystals here. You'll need around about ten to fifteen to make it through the next section. Um, also, if you need uh, a fairy, just pick it up here. This is a really good uh, place to refill your uh, counts if you need it. Enter this uh, honky chonky barrel here, and you'll want to slam the big X. This will smash a rock on the upper side of the island. Then just come under here and swim through shores. Yet again, Z and mash B. That's how you swim through shores. After you get here, you want to get under this cage under here. So you can see there how Chunky's under this cage. Just jump and get that golden banana. If you, I'll show it off here. Um, if for whatever reason you inbounds in the cage, like so, if you inbounds in the cage, grab the gold banana, then literally just jump aerial out this side and you can exit. Then just come over here, you'll be swimming over here if you didn't jump aerial inside the cage. And grab this gold banana. And then just come in here. Take off this boulder, place it down, it's faster than throwing it away. And tag Lanky. And play your instrument. Grab the golden banana. And we'll be entering Japes for the second time. But this time we this is gonna be a lot quicker. <laughs> so we're back in jungle japes, uh tech wall bomb. And this is gonna be just a short little section detour thing to collect a few really quick bananas. So we'll need to tag tiny here. And you want to do another swim through vertical walls. So do that, and then we're going to be heading to Tiny's Cage GB down there. So you'll want to make sure that you can kind of see and follow this path over here. Sometimes the camera can be a bit weird, just stop with Z and take a little bit of time to adjust and get your bearings. Once you get here, you'll want to jump inbounds and collect the GB. After this, just cross the river. And head all the way to Tiny's Blueprint. Long jumping is the fastest method with Tiny. After you've done that, just kill Hacker Splat. And head over to this gate here. Shoot these two gates. Like so. 
Or shoot these two switches and it'll open the gate. And then we'll be heading to Tiny's uh, Stomp GB, which is back here. All you have to do is hop in here. And bounce on this mushroom. And fall in. <laughs> Sometimes if you are going too fast towards that hole, you'll pop back up to the top. Just make sure you're moving slow enough and you'll fall through the hole. After you've done this, then just detransform. Then you head over here to tag Chunky. And we'll be doing the Minecart Mayhem minigame. So just come over here, backflip, and you'll just enter the uh, bonus barrel. So there's a quick way to. Uh, do this, or a nice easy way. You want to be hot and zed, and you'll want to switch nine times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and stay for three more. So, one, two, three. Then switch for three more. One, two, three. And after you've done that, just hold B to break. And that's that GB really easy. Just hop in the hunky chunky barrel and backflip to get that golden banana. After here, just detransform and get Diddy. And go via Warp 5. And head down here. Now we're doing a little clip here. This clip is hard on VC. It's actually kind of easy on N64 because you get a little bit of lag. But you want to be chimpy charging through this wall here. It's very weak. So... Like so. I'll do it again just for show. Sometimes it just doesn't work, it's kind of iffy sometimes. Okay, so after you've gone out of bounds, it's just a simple navigation. You want to stick kind of close to this area here. Just stick kind of close and just grab this gold banana here. After you've done this, just backflip onto the fun keys here, backflip once again to get here, and we'll want to tag Lanky. So go down here, and down here, and you want to come through all the way over here. And kill Lanky's Kasplat. And get his bonus barrel over here. Welcome to bonus stage. And just bounce on this mushroom and swing across the vines to get nine coins. And that's the mini game done. After you've done that, just backflip to get a banana. Come back down here. Avoid getting hit by that guy. Just come down all the way over here. And we'll be swimming to this tag over here. And you want to do another swim through vertical walls. And you'll be heading to this underground area here. And then just head all the way down here. Ha! 
cross this gap, it's not too hard. And then shoot these two switches. You want to shoot them kind of close, like one shortly after the other. They just override each other's cutscene. So like that and that. So you can see how one started, but then we overrode it with the second one starting. And just go and get his uh, blueprint guy over here. And swing to the other side. To get his gold banana. And Dyna Pit Belay. And enter the cannon. After doing this, you want to pick up this boulder here. This boulder contains a golden banana. Nice, simplish dance skip you can do here. Pick up the boulder and throw it so that the GB's kinda near the beaver. And then just attract the beaver so it damages you into the golden banana. I got a bit unlucky there. And there. There we go. <laughs> It can be a little bit iffy. After doing that, just tag DK. And go via warp 1 to leave the level. Now time for the shortest journey between levels. We'll be heading from Jungle Japes to Fungi Forest. So enter this cannon over here, yet again you want to hold Z, this just prevents the getting up animation, and then just roll into Fungi Lobby. Talk to the bee locker, and roll into Fungi Forest. Once you're here, you want to roll to this warp 4, this is very important, don't be like Tudos who forgot this warp 4 in a run. So get that warp 4, then come all the way through here. All the way to the back. And you want to tag Diddy here. Then all you have to do is cross this moat. Hopefully you don't land in the water, but if you do then it's fine, just like jump back out again. And rocket barrel all the way to the top. And you'll want to go to this tag barrel over here and tag Lanky. And you want to rank stand up here, and you want to be facing like you want to be going up this way. Kill the cl clump if you need to, and slam this switch. Then head back this way. Then all you need to do is just long jump down this side, and enter this room over here. Bounce on the mushroom. Very nice and quick golden banana. Go and tag Chunky here, and we'll be getting his blueprint for Fungi. So jump, then aerial nearby, just so you don't take full damage. This Kaspat can be notably mean. But once you've got that blueprint, then just jump down this side. <laughs> aerial a little later than that, I guess it was just slightly too early. And you want to also tag Diddy here. and climb this ladder. Enter here and we'll be getting Diddy's blueprint. If you got the fairy camera earlier, you can shockwave these blueprint guys. Um, but bearing in mind that you will need crystals for later for um, rocket barrel and stuff. Do not get hit by that bee, that is uh, notably Emo's bee, 
<laughs> it's a runner called Emo Arbiter has often got screwed by that big. So he wants to come down here and get Tiny's blueprint. Then just come down here. Please. There we go. <laughs> come down here. And you'll want to use this tag barrel over here. And tag a lanky. At which point you'll just shoot this switch over here. Yeah, again, use sniper scope if you need to. This will open this grate here. So just come down here. And we're going to be getting Lanky's blueprint. Good opportunity to also get some crystals if you're low on them. Do not use Tiny's gun or Lanky's gun to kill these Kasplats, they take a lot of ammo to kill with Tiny or Lanky. So after you've done that, just take what for. You want to tag what one here. And then just come through this way. And we'll be going to our first Obanana section. So this turns in all the blueprints we have for Lanky. Um, there'll be a few of these in this room. Obviously, like, you don't need to watch all of this, I'll just speed through these sections. After this, just mash B to exit. Tag Tiny. And also do her a banana. Okay, so here there are two options which you can do. You can... Um, one of them is you can immediately go into here do key 5, which I'll show in a sec, uh, you'll have to ledge clip in with Chunky, then do his nice turn in. The one that I'll be showing is you'll be going in with Chunky here, turning in his blueprints, and then you'll be doing key 5 with DK. Okay, so we're done with the first section of Obananas, nearly. For <laughs> next bit we'll have to do is go into here and tag DK and just enter the boss how you want. I'll show off the ledge clip again. Most people like to do the moon kick, I'll just show off the ledge clip. Like so. And just enter the boss. So this is Dogadon Quick. I can't really explain this um, fast, but you can quick kill this boss. And you want to do it on phase one. If you miss it on phase one, then just die and just re-enter the boss. So what you'll want to do here is dodge the first four fireballs in a section, then on the fifth one, head to the center, Pick up the barrel, tread a few places, and place the barrel like that. I'll also link Emo's tutorial for this in the previous MLE tutorial, just in case you have troubles with that. Uh, he goes into a lot more detail because he's on Weavy so he has time to pause. So after you've done that, just pick up key 5. Like so.
after you've done that tag diddy and you know what's coming more a banana <laughs> After you've done that, just mash B to cancel the text, and uh, hey, you're back in Fungo. Next thing is to come down here. And do a swim through vertical balls this way. You can use R here, this stable libraries is the camera a little bit. And we're going to be swimming through vertical walls again to get that cage GB. After that, you just want to exit this cage. It can be a little fin finicky, just like move around a lot and you'll eventually uh, clip out of it. After this point, just backflip into the loading zone. And go and tag DK here. Now, mill clip. What you'll want to do is come over here and just walk and you'll clip out of bounds. That wall is incredibly weak. Uh, this can sometimes happen where the screen goes entirely black or you just see DK and you won't be able to see the mill. If that happens, then just face away from where you think the mill is and zoom out twice and you'll reload the mill. So face away. Sometimes it reloads without you having to zoom out twice. Um, at which point just come around here and pick up the GB. Then just come down here. Perfect zinger shot as usual, 10 out of 10. Take quart 1. And take the cannon up. And shoot the night switch. Then just jump down and take what one again. Then just come over here and we'll be rolling over to DK's blueprint at the back. Once you get here, just shoot him repeatedly. And then just roll all the way back to warp one. Take one and we'll be exiting via the DK portal, which is over here. So that's fun guy done. Uh, tag Diddy here. We're nearly 75% of the way through the uh, GBs for this, so it's not long left. After this bit, just zoom out twice, or fully zoom out, I should say, and you should get full view of K Rule's uh, ship. This is hard on VC because not a lot of lag, but on N64 it's kind of alright. Um, you want to cartwheel jump aerial across to the uh, peanut switch area. So, like so. It's a lot, a lot easier on N64 if you have your camera fully zoomed out. So you suit the switch and grab this GB over here. Come down here. Yeah, again using a crouch slide to uh, negate fall damage. And take walk through. 
Um, then you'll want to tag DK, not DK, Chunky. Which point just exit here? Take what one? Take warp two. And just come across this way. Remove this boulder here. Yet again, do not throw it, just place it down and play his instrument. And Squawks will nicely give you a banana. So just pick it up. Then just come over here. And enter case. That jump can be pretty hard. Um, if you miss it, if you fall to the bottom, just tag DK or Tiny. Um, and you can make that jump a lot easier. At which point, just break this glass wall and tag Lanky. Kill this guy. Then come and tag Diddy. And enter this rocket barrel and play his instrument here. Grab the golden banana. Interesting spot for the gum banana to land. At which point, just come up here and enter caves. So come down here, we'll be immediately tagging warp 2. And cross the river. And backflip all the way up to this tag over here. And tag DK. And kill his spot over here. Sometimes, um, you won't be able to kill that Kasplat, or like, you'll have taken quite a long while to cross the moat, so uh, you might not want to kill this Kasplat before this cutscene starts, just wait until after the cutscene starts to kill it. Then roll across the, this uh, bridge, and tag Lanky. Um, this bit will require a baboon balloon flight. If you can't do this, then what you'll want to do is tag Diddy here, then go over to there, like on the path near Funky, there'll be a rocket barrel, and then just rocket barrel to the warp 5 on that podium. But I'll show you what to do with Lanky. So, where is it? Here it is. Baboon balloon. On top of the ice castle. Of course. <laughs> Only in the tutorial. Okay. So we're floating back again. And then float again, and we're going to be floating all the way over to Lanky's blueprint. And then as soon as you hit the ground, just play your instrument.
not only will this cancel the kosher cutscene, or the um, kosher music, whatever, this will also instantly kill the uh, guy here. At which point, just grab this blueprint. I will be climbing to the tag brow over here. You'd be doing this as Diddy if you can't do the uh, float. So just come over here, and um, we'll be tagging at DK. Which point you'll want to moon kick on this slope. Uh, it can actually be really hard because of the severe amount of lag, but just A and mash B as normal. And you'll want to <laughs> come to the uh, top of rotating room, which is this one. Which point, uh, just moon kick and enter this fight. So, yeah, again, look down if you're on N64, reduces a little bit of lag. And throw this barrel. And then just roll into him. Yeah, again, it skips the rolling phase a little bit. Then just come down here and pick up the uh, TNT barrel and you can place it nicely near him so he can instantly hit the uh, or he can be instantly damaged by it. So I've kicked near him and this allows me to get like nice kind of quick access to him so that we can uh, take damage off him. Pick up the barrel again. At which point he loses his armour and we're getting to the final part of the fight. Pick up the barrel again, and you can place it nice and near him. Just avoid these few fireballs. Then he'll shoot out a big rocket. Then just hit it, and... If you were close enough with your TNT barrel, he would have taken or taken damage off that, but we were a little bit off. And grab the key. Let's come down here, play the instrument. and enter this room here. So normally what you do here is you've got a, uh, well, you might have seen people do a moon kick here. This moon kick is hard, not beginner friendly, so I would heavily advise not doing it, or I would uh, advise against doing it. So something which you can do which is equally as fun is doing the game normally. So just slam this red pad, I would not 
pound cancelled here because you can clip under the floor and it is not a fun time. So just slam these two, slam the blue one over here, then slam the matching blue one, slam the green one, then slam the green one here, and then slam these two purple ones, slam this final orangey one, and then slam this one here. This will bring down the golden banana, ready for you to pick up. Then exit the room. And tag Tiny over here. Now you want Tiny's blueprint. Uh, so pick that over here. If you didn't do the lanky float earlier on in caves, you'll want to go to that bot 5 over here. Then, uh, well, you want to go to that tag barrel there. Then go to the wall 5 and uh, get the blueprint on it. We're gonna go via wall 2 here. Then... Uh, you want to tag warp 1 here, I forgot that. <laughs> Remember to tag warp 1. Then come down here. Then you want to come down here. And then you want to kick slide. <laughs> of course. You want to um, come and uh, kick slide ponytail twirl over to that warp over there. This is important, don't do a sea fox and forget that. Uh, if you can't make that for whatever reason, if you're on VC and you just have troubles with making that, or if you're an N64 and just can't make it, then you can just come over here and this side's a little easier, a little bit less distance to travel, and you can just land on there as normal. Then just climb up here. And tag Diddy here. So tag Diddy here, and we'll be doing a long out of bounds section. So enter this rocket barrel, and you'll want to come all the way up here. Now, up here, just above the baboon balloon pad, has a very high ceiling. This ceiling is higher than the others. So come up here and then hold forward and you'll be above the ceiling. At which point just follow the level around until you see Funkies. So you'll need to look below. So we're just passing over the ice castle. And you can see the Funkies over there. We need to head to the alcove or the little area on the opposite side. So it's this area over here. At which point just head down and there is Diddy's blueprint, so just <laughs> shoot it. At which point just come back and go via wall 4. And come down here. And we'll be swimming over here to tag Chunky. Sometimes getting in this tag barrel can be pretty weird. And <laughs> shoot the kasplat. At which point you'll go via warp one. Uh, you can STVW here. If you have troubles with this STVW, then you can just go to this normally. So you swing to vertical walls here, and you'll be immediately in this room. And Gorilla Gone to collect this gold banana. 
Come by this way. And exit the DK portal like so. Come down here. Punch this ice wall. And tag DK all the way over here. Now we'll be doing a damage boost here. If you have trouble with this damage boost, there is a strong Kong barrel over there. Just use it and you can do this without the damage boost. But the damage boost is faster and you also skip the strong Kong text. So you want to be uh, against this wall so you know how I'm kind of against... Like, I'm close to this edge but I'm also facing the wall. Um, or facing against the wall I should say. You want to kind of be looking here-ish and you want to throw an orange. This will damage you this way. You'll get a little bit of invulnerability, enough for you to roll and uh, collect that GB. At which point, just collect it and then just you'll die. At which point, just exit the lobby, kick down. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you want to kick and then jump just before you uh, enter the falling animation. Take warp one. And roll all the way over here. And enter castle. Then come over all the way over here. And shoot this switch here. And tag Diddy. This is important, you do not die here at all, because otherwise that will reset the gate. So come over here, and then just attack this blueprint guy. And get the blueprint. At which point just cross the acid moat, and talk to this bee locker, and enter castle. Cross this bridge, in again, and you want to come on all the way over here, climb up this pole, and we'll be heading to that little entrance up ahead. Don't dive, that's uh, kind of slow. Let's <laughs> come through all the way over here. If you're low on oranges, then you can uh, pick those up. Then just come over here, tag Chunky. And get his blueprint guy over here. Uh, like so. Then tag DK. Then roll out this way. So, what you can do here uh, is you can do some three vertical walls uh, to the left of this pole, and at which point you'll come over here, and if you surface again, uh, look in first person to get the uh, direction, dive and then mash B, you can clip through this tree. It's like a swim through vertical walls and swim through shores combo. Uh, at which point just enter this loading zone and you're inside a tree. Now important thing, I'm going to stay away from the loading zone for a very good reason. Do not enter the loading zone. If you go through that loading zone back again, that is a soft lock, so do not do it. Um, Second note, if you can't do that, swim through vertical walls, swim through shores clip, you can do the bee blast um, to enter here. At which point, just pick up DK's Bloomkink guy. 
and pick up the uh, blueprint. So at this point, we're doing a uh, clip out of this area. You want to be looking. You want to head to this kind of area here, and you want to do a roll clip. So you notice where I was rolling. I'll do this a few more times because this is notably iffy for new runners. So roll through there. So now that you're out of bounds, um, you want to come over this way and inch yourself forward. As soon as you can't see DK, go in first person and you'll load this room and you can see where you're going. It just makes it a lot easier. At which point, head this way and you don't want to go inbounds. Inbounds means you fall to the bottom, you have to do all this again, including clipping into the tree. So what we'll need to do is, because there's floor blowers, we'll need to kick jump and then aerial to that golden banana. So, kick, jump, aerial, and you'll get that golden banana. And that skips having to do the whole stupid minigame. If you miss it, you, as I said, you can either re-attempt to clip and grab that GB, or you can just do the minigame normally. At which point, just come around here. Climb up this. And we're going to be rolling down this way. And we'll be rolling all the way to the trough and scuff on this side. I would advise taking walk to here, just as safety, just in case you fall off. Uh, it means you can get back to here quicker. Then just enter the trough and scuff. And you don't need to enter this boss as lanky, even though you start as lanky. So, we're going to enter as DK. Yeah, again, using the moon kick method. And roll under the boss door. So this is uh, now going to be the King Cutout fight. Literally just head into the cardboard cutout of uh, K. Rool each time. So this is the side. And then after you've hit him, you can head to the center. And after you've done that, just look for where he's going to spawn. And hits out of this one. Then just head back to the center again. The important thing is not to lose Lanky in this fight. Um, if you lose him, it's not the end of the world, but try not to lose him. As soon as you do this, swim back to the center, and you'll be swimming, and you'll go and try and find the right K rule. In this case, it was that one. Um, but there'll be two K rules essentially showing up. They'll be on opposite sides. One will be a real K rule, and then one will be a ghost version, I guess, of K rule. Or whatever, it's a fake version. So you want to head for the real version. So you can see that that cable is slightly dark tinted, that means that it's not the real one, so you just head for this one. So that one's obviously the dark side, so on the opposite side must be the real one. Okay, so now comes the phase that everyone has issues with, which is the fast-moving K. Rule phase. <laughs> so what you want to do is kill this ghost, and he always moves counterclockwise, um, so he's going to spawn here next and shoot a few places. At which point, just head here, 
after it's through the second pop up, just enter the cannon. And there you go. Yeah, again, enter the cannon on the second shot. Now, for this one here, you want to know where the ghost spawns. Uh, you'll see it eventually, this side. So you want to get shot out of this cannon here for the final one, so this will be the third shot. The side which the ghost spawns is the side which you can do swim through vertical walls. It's just convenient. At which point you can dive and do a swim through vertical walls, and the reason why we do it is a nice important get back to the key. If you don't go on the right side for whatever reason, you can just swim back to the key. I would heavily advise killing the ghost though, because the ghost can damage you into the key and it is very problematic to get out. Uh, if you've ditched Lanky, as I say, um, just go down there, tag Lanky, then take walk to, to uh, go back up again. So here you want to cross this section here. And kill this Kasplat. Then come down here. And enter the crypt. Tag Diddy. And shoot here. If you run out of ammo, then you can just uh, no more attack him like that. Then tag Tony and exit through this door. At which point, just come across here, head to the left. And kill this uh, Kaspla. Bouncing on him is the easiest because it basically um, locks him away from doing any damage. At which point, just jump off the side to Death Warp. And hey, you're done with Creepy Castle. So, next point is just dying this lava and exit Castle Lobby. And swim to K Lomzi, because we're going to be turning in both keys 7 and 6 here. So remember, turn in two keys. Okay, now that you've exited, or you've turned in both keys now, you'll want to come down here. And... Come up here. Monkey port. And enter Helm Lobby normally. Now we don't have a hundred gold Madonna, so we're not going to be entering Helm yet. Just come through here. And tag DK. Uh, we'll be doing an, yeah, we're going to be doing another damage beast here. If you can't do it, then just shoot that switch over there with sniper scope. Um, 
and you'll reach this uh, blueprint guy normally. So have your back faced against the lava, like this. And you don't need to zoom out of the camera, I'm just showing where I am. Go in first person, fire an orange, and you'll damage yourself onto lava. Then just kill this blueprint guy. At which point, pick up the blueprint and death warp. Then exit the lobby. Then, <laughs> if you can get onto like the edges of the mouth, then just kick off that. I wasn't able to get on it there. Just take uh, take warp two. Then enter Aztec again. This wrinkly here can be a pain. Try to avoid activating it. So now we're in Aztec for the second time, and this will be our final level before him. So take what one. Tag Chunky. And we're going to be going all the way through here. Then come all the way over here with Hunky Chunky. I'm going to collect a few crystals here because it just allows me more explanation time. So we're going to be clipping out of this area to skip a detransform trigger. So the way you do this is on this light, you can backflip onto it, and then you can jump an aerial essentially through this wall slash ceiling, like so. Then if you want, you can pick up some more crystals here to make this next bit a bit more safer if you want. So now you're hunky chunky in an unintended area. So what do you do? You backflip onto here. and then more crystals if you need them, then you want to jump aerial through this right hand side wall. It can be a little finicky, so if you have issues with this then don't worry. As soon as you've clipped, go in first person, because you can easily enter the wrong one, especially Tiny's area here. Um, I've detransformed, it doesn't matter if you detransform. But uh, you want to go into Chunky's area, and make sure you're in Chunky's area, then just enter the loading zone. Shoot this. Then come across here. It doesn't matter which side you go via for these first two areas, you can go on the right hand side if you want. Then shoot this switch and head to the left. Then get this blueprint. Then exit the temple. This temple can be a bit of a pain to exit, sometimes you'll just backflip and sometimes you'll just get hit by those enemies. As long as you've exited the temple, then just come over here. And we'll be heading directly over to Snides. Kill this guy if you want. and enter Snides, and we'll be tying in the final set of blueprints. Sex so it here. And tag DK. 
and it will literally just be going through the Kongs, turning in their blueprints until you reach a hundred gold bananas, or until you reach tiny set. So, if you followed the route, you will have 100 gold bananas now, and you'll also have this bonus option unlocked. If you do not have this bonus un option unlocked, this is a serious problem and you need to collect the rest of the blueprints. Uh, you can see which blueprints you missed by going to the blueprint screen, and you'll just see what's one's missing. Uh, if you have any blueprints missing, go to that level, pick up the blueprint, go to tonight, turn it in, and then do this step. So, at this point, go into the bonus menu, then go to Beaver Bother. Welcome to bonus day. Cancel this text and die in a pit. Then don't try again, and you'll be in adventure mode. Then you can pause exit and exit level. Which point just come over here. And exit Aztec. Take what to. And swim over to the monkey port pad. Then like before, just come down here and you'll want to ponytail twirl into the mouth here. Into Helm Lobby. Tank Junkie. And then Gorilla Gone. This will make some vines spawn. And this B lock only opens or responds to Chunky, so this is why we have to do it as Chunky. So swing across these vines, Speed Locker will talk to you, and there. We are out of MMM, so we do not have to worry about uh, the game not saving here. So this is Hideout Helm. So this is uh, what's called a slope reset. If you have watched Sea Fox's tutorial for any percent, this covers it really well, but I'll cover it here. So, if you kick slide and then jump, you can perform another kick slide. So, like so. And you can chain these all the way over to get up the slope. So, kick slide, jump, kick slide, jump, kick slide. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work. Kick slide, jump, kick slide, jump, kick slide, jump, kick slide, jump, and you're up the slope. This slope isn't slippery, so you can just long jump up it. At which point just check Chunky. And shoot the switch. You have 50 minutes to do this, so do not worry about running out of time. Then swing across these signs. So this is Terminal on Clip. This is the bane of a lot of people's lives. Um, but with a simple setup, it actually doesn't become that bad. So, you'll want to be kind of facing... You know how, like, Chunky vibrates if you're, like... If you're walking too far left, Chunky will vibrate. But if you walk kind of straight on, he won't. You want to be going where he's not vibrating. If you get this, then, like... Make sure you only have part of the monitor on screen. 
you can see how like I want to go and see up only part of the monitors on the screen. If you did that, then jump aerial, and you should grab onto the uh, zero. Sometimes he'll like grab it and you like you won't clip on. Like that's perfectly fine. Signifies you were too far to the right. But there here, um, he's grabbing on fine, and he's clipped out of bounds. Once you get here, you just go around the room, and then you'll see Tidy's barrel here, head essentially straight on from here. And if you're good enough, you'll head or you'll be near Tiny's room. Then just keep heading straight on. And you'll head into DK's room. Be careful here, because you can imbalance and then you'll have to reset and do helm again. Then carefully navigate around the room. This bit is very tough, but make sure, like, if you want, you can go into C up, see where you are, and then just move around a bit, go and see up, see where you are. Um, once you get far enough, you'll get away from the locked camera, so just keep coming forward, and then this terminal light is over here. You want to be heading almost like 45 degrees to that, so around about, if I can actually get it on screen, around about here. So then just long jump forward a couple of times, and you'll end up here. Then just backflip in bounds, come across here, kill this if you want, then you'll be doing T2 clip. T2 clip is kind of simple. All you need to do is jump right a little bit, and there's like a tiny gap between the terminal and the floor where Chunky can just be in between. Thankfully there's no collision here, so if you just walk straight ahead, he clips through the wall. It's kind of <laughs> broken hit detection. At which point just go under here and just long jump straight forward and you'll come to this room over here. Keep long jumping forward and you'll be directly behind key 8. Backflip in bounds and very, very important here, do not get fake kick. If you've seen a GDQ 2013 with C Fox's run, you saw he got fake kick. We have now solved and found a way to prevent that, so do not get it. The way to prevent it is look over the window or the door as you're picking it up. So like, sign. And there, you're fine. After the second donk, you can reset. Uh, you do not need to turn on story skip here, we, we won't be entering any new levels. So, go into game 1, you'll see you've got 100 golden bananas. Go via warp 1. And go enter, uh, okay Lumsy. We'll be turning in keys 3 and 8 here, which will be the final two keys. So this is the second key. Uh, this will spawn because you've got all eight keys turned in. This will play a 1 minute 30 cutscene. Because we're not in MMM, we can just reset out of this. Um, so as soon as you see uh, the cut, um, <laughs> the as soon as you see the cutscene start, just reset. Um, it's basically as soon as you see the uh, K rules cruiser, and you can reset. So just mash star yet again to get past D uh, K Rap and DK TV. Enter your file, and then go via warp three. And then to K rule. So K rule is can be hard, especially to start off with. This boss is very hard to deal with in a casual sense. It is very often that people die in 
one of the phases. More often than not, it's either Diddy, Lanky, it's not Diddy or Lanky, uh, Diddy, Tiny, or Chunky phase. So, with some good practice, you can get past this, but I'm going to be showing a few strategies to help you get past uh, K. Rule without dying. And also showing some good optimizations here and there, which basically saves around about a minute of your K rule time if you execute them well. But if you can't get them, then that's fine. Like, the important thing is to make sure that you don't die. There are some even more advanced strats to this. And I'll link my advanced strat tutorial for cable um, if you want. So the first thing you want to do is climb on this pole. So I am on this pole as you can see. And after his third pound, you want to hop up a little bit. This will get you in a barrel early. And then as soon as that cutscene ends, you can fire. If you don't get in the barrel early, just wait for him to punch three times and you'll be fine. Then just get in this barrel and count five punches. So it's three, four, five. Then you can fire. Head over to this one over here. And then count three punches. So three. And for this final one, you want to count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fire. So that's DK phase down. DK phase is the easiest of the phases, in my opinion. Now for the hardest of the phases, uh, Diddy phase. So the first thing you want to do here is come all the way around to over here. While then after he does this cheer, go into him. This will give you a bit of invulnerability. And there is a specific spot which you can backflip, which you can enter that rocket barrel early. Uh, then just shoot this, and then you can shoot this light over here. Then going all the way over to here. To hover, you can hold Z, and that just make, basically keeps your elevation. If you get in a specific spot, I'll show it off here. Uh, so, this spot here, holding Z, maybe a little bit more to the left. If you get in a specific spot, you can fire through the light. And that makes it just easier to hit on both sides. So coming over here, so this is, yeah, this is around the spot. And then just fire, you can fire a few bullets whilst you're hovering, waiting for the targets to spawn, and that'll just to see whether it clips through. If you can't do those, then that's fine. Literally just shoot the first shot, then work your way around to the other side, then shoot the second, and it's fine. But remember to hold Z if you need to hover, because it makes maneuvering with rocket power a lot easier. This is Lanky Phase. Uh, very basic. So just wait around whilst Cable does his little moving. And you want to position yourself kind of here. Then you want to hit this button back here. Pick up the barrel. It took me a bit to shoot the button, so then place your barrel there and place your or play your instrument on the yellow side. Okay, we'll come back here. Then come round here. Then uh, blow up this one or press that button. Then play it on the blue side. Then come round here. Then place it there. And yet again, play it on the blue side. Mm. 
Then you go around all the way to the two button, press this button, and then place it down here. Then you want to long jump over, then wait for cable to come over, and then play your instrument there, and then he will loop back and touch that banana. Like so. I would advise practicing cable a lot for Emily, and just in general. Practicing cable gets you a lot better and a lot more consistent at just getting through the fight and just getting consistent with your times. So if you're having trouble with cable, even though it's, it can be a boring fight for a lot of people, practicing it um, can really improve your times. So this is a tiny phase. I'm going to show off some lag reduction here, purely because this phase is absolutely, absolutely laggy to the button. So, yeah. Firstly, use C down, and then use, um, yeah, you want to come up here, and it can be hard to get on this, but as soon as you get on the pole, look up. And as soon as he does his third pound, you want to get inside this barrel here. It can be a little bit difficult because of depth perception. As soon as you get here, just enter the shoe. Take out your gun or uh, retract it. Then you'll want to do toes.txt. I'll put it on the side. And so for the first one, it's 2 2 1. So you'll stand in toe position 2 then toe position 1, then to position 2 again, and so on. Yet yeah, again, climb up this. Then after his third pound, just come back here. Getting on a pole can be difficult. So for this one it is 2, 1, 2, 2, 1. Fire. Then two, three, three, two, two, and then fire again. Looking down, just in general, in that shoe saves a load of time. Then climb this pole again. Then go back again. And enter the shoot. So this next one is 2, 3, 4, 3, 4. So retract the gun. Get into 3 and 4. Then 3. Then 4. Shoot. Then it's 2. Double 3. Double 4. Shoot. Then four, three, four, three, four. Sometimes toes can desync there and go away from the original pattern. If that's fine, just take the hit and it's okay. So after his fourth pound here, you can head back to the center. Sometimes he can move in front of you. That's a bit of bad luck, but it's okay. Then just enter the barrel. If you accidentally waste an orange in this, then it's fine. Also, you'll want to retract your gun because sniper scope causes a ton a lag if you have your gun out. And so because we did MMM we have sniper scope so you want to retract your gun always. If you're on VC you don't have to worry about this lag reduction because this shoe is definitely not as laggy on VC. So that's tiny phase done. A pretty simple phase. Um, once you get the hang of it. Honestly, 
the only phase after practice which will give you major trouble is probably Diddy phase. This is Chunky phase. I'm going to have to pause you a few times here because uh, there are some references because as from your childhood you might remember uh, that you have to punch K. Rule at certain times to deal a hit. And if you punch too early or punch too late, you'll get an uppercut and you'll take some damage. Well, I'll show you the proper times to punch for each section. So, you want to come to the red section here. Then get in the barrel. Okay, from this bit here, you'll want to get it so that K. Rool is his shadow, the back of his shadow, is essentially touching the second eye, so I'll show it on screen as it's happening, but you'll see. So hold crouch, so his front of the shadow, then the back of the shadow is touching the second eye, there. Then move to the centre, pound this thing. Don't move in too quickly, otherwise you'll get a splat. It's just a bug. For this next one here, you'll want to do it when the front of the shadow touches the eye nearest to you. So, he is now. And this is like you're holding Z and you're pressing B when that Q happens. Then go to the centre, pound, try to get, a, try to avoid getting hit. Okay, for this one you need to uh, press B as soon as cable starts moving. So, B. So this is the final hit. You're around about 20 seconds away from the end of the run. You can do it. Yeah, again, go to the center. Pound. Take the warp, or not the warp, the gorilla gun. And enter the barrel. So for this one, you'll want to press B on his second left. So Kira will do like a swirly pattern here. He'll go right, then left, then right, then left. You want to press B on the second left, so right, left, right, left, there, and that is your run done. Congratulations, you've gotten through the run. Um, as I've said before, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll answer it in the comments below, and well, I'll answer as soon as I see it which is pretty much within the day. Um, if there's any more resources you need, I can provide um, them if necessary. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy your time with the uh, No Levels Early Rounds.